Hello, everybody. My name is Gamachu Makanko Gamachuda, working as a Koika volunteer with EDCM Plan Education. And our team, Bruka, Bikiltu, Galata, Haro, and Mati, are working together on computer science education for the children in Oromia, Ethiopia. We are making few videos to help the teachers and students understand what computer science education is. As the first video, I'd like to talk about the introduction of computer science education. So do you use a computer? And what do you think about computer? Computer wasn't the computer that we know now when it started in the beginning. Only 100 years ago, computer meant something different. A traditional calculating tool like an abacus or a profession who calculated for a living. And this was because the computer originated from a Latin word, computare, which means calculate in Latin. And the computer referred to someone who calculated the fastest. And computers do amazing things in our daily life. You can work from home without going to work. And you can listen to music, watch movies, online shopping, video chat with your friends from different part of the world, email, playing games, and even learning. However, this is not a magic or a supernatural power. In this video, we will see how it's possible for computers to process huge amount of data in seconds. Computer science is basically a study to find the fastest and the most efficient way to the answer by calculating the process and finding a pattern. But the fact that we don't focus on studying about computers in computer science may surprise you. And one of the most famous computer scientists, Asker Dijkstra, once said, Computer science is no more about computers than astronomy is about telescopes. Of course, computer is a very important tool in computer science, but it's not an objective of the study. Overall, computer science is based on how fast, how accurate, and how creative the problems can be solved. Then, what's computational thinking? Before we talk about that, let's try to solve this math question together. Ready? Now add the numbers from 1 to 200 in your head. And you can pause the video for a second, of course, if you want to take your time. Have you done it yet? Let's try this out with me now. I'm going to write the half of the numbers on top and the rest half on the bottom. And now let's add the numbers at the top and the bottom and it becomes 201, 201 and on and on and on, 201 at the end. So in total we have 100 of 201 which equals to 20,100. Was it similar to you how you solved or different? This is computational thinking. First, you break it down, second, find a pattern, and third, we put it together into an algorithm that we could solve. This computational thinking method is very useful not only in the computer, but also in our study, daily lives, or any kind of fields. Okay, as mentioned earlier in this video, Computational thinking is the thinking process to deal with complicated issues in real life. Everything in our society seems to move fast recently, change all the time, and becomes even more complicated. So at this point, everyone needs computational thinking, not just for programmers or computer scientists, 
but educating computer science doesn't necessarily mean raising our children to become computer programmers, but it's always better if they could figure out the problems and answers in a faster and more accurate way. For many years, people mainly evolved the programming class to enhance computational skill. About 20 years ago, Professor Tim Bell and his team developed Computer Science Unplugged, which is a collection of learning activities that teaches computer science without having to use computers. Therefore, students can learn the computational concepts such as binary numbers, pixel, algorithms, and data compression through games and puzzles. The activities serve to promote computer science to people of all ages, but they are especially popular among primary and secondary school students. Computer Science Unplugged Education provides ways to expose students to ideas from computer science. But once again, it doesn't need computers or programming or even expensive teaching aids. So in the following videos, we will introduce more about Computer Science Unplugged activities for teachers to apply in class. Galatoma.